perhaps a radio signal detected from Proxima yes, Centauri. Our galaxy alone has billions of livable planets, and the James Webb Space Telescope might bring us one step closer to discovering them. The JWST is humanity's most incredible space-observing breakthrough. The scientific community expects it'll be far more powerful than all human-launched space telescopes and will let them investigate faraway objects. As never before in space, the JWST will explore Proxima b to see if the planet emits artificial lights. You heard that right. To get to Proxima Centauri with uh, the kind of uh, spacecrafts that we already sent, like New Horizons or uh, Voyager 1, Voyager 2, you needed to send them when the first humans left. Scientists want to discover if Proxima B's lights are extraterrestrial. What will the JWST discover when it zooms in on the exoplanet, and how will it affect you? Join us in JWST's groundbreaking revelations about artificial lights on Proxima B, a discovery that can revolutionize everything. Are we alone in space? That's a question everyone's been asking for decades, but a much harder one is where to find intelligent life outside Earth in the cosmos. Many planets are suitable search targets. Scientists say Proxima b, an exoplanet with alarming findings, is the greatest thus far. Why are scientists studying Proxima b? Where is it? What are this planet's terrifying discoveries? And how did the new James Webb Space Telescope unveil its mysteries? When you look up at the night sky, you'll see stars shining brightly. But what you might miss are the planets circling those stars. These planets, known as exoplanets because they're outside our solar system, are too far away to be seen with the naked eye. This video shows another reason they are hard to notice even with telescopes. However, these faraway worlds may have extraterrestrial life, as according to experts, some exoplanets may have the conditions required to support life. Researchers have always been interested in these planets, but equipment has limited their investigations. But there's a new player in town now, the powerful new James Webb Space Telescope. While actual footage of aliens strolling about would be wonderful, scientists aren't unrealistic enough to expect it in the quest for life outside Earth. Instead, they search for clues for life on these worlds. But what exactly indicates to scientists that a planet has biological beings or aliens? Since its discovery, scientists have focused on finding extraterrestrial life on Proxima b. The parent star, Proxima Centauri, is part of an OD stellar trio that scientists are still trying to explain. The other two binary stars share a gravity center. All three are Alpha Centauri. Astronomers don't know if Proxima Centauri is orbiting the other pair or merely passing by. Alpha Centauri can be seen without a telescope. This is because the three binary stars together form the third brightest star in the sky. Proxima is closer to Earth than the others. Alpha Centauri is 437 light years away, while it is 422 light years. Proxima is smaller and fainter than the other two stars, making it hard to spot. Red dwarfs are too faint to perceive by the naked eye. The orbit of Proxima b around its star is tiny. This planet circles its parent star at 4.6 million miles, approximately 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun. The Sun is 93 million miles from Earth. People on Earth require special equipment to observe Proxima Centauri, even though our Sun is a bright huge star in Proxima b. Proxima b is in the planet's habitable zone, where liquid water might exist. Proxima Centauri's habitable zone is quite near to its parent star, unlike our Sun. This is because Proxima is much cooler than the Sun scientists located Proxima b, the nearest Earth-like exoplanet, four light years distant. That does not imply we can deploy astronauts there soon or ever. No Earth emissaries are going to Proxima b any time in the near future, as present technology could take thousands of years to be able to explore the exoplanet. If you gaze at Proxima Centauri head-on, you won't see Proxima b since it doesn't pass in front of it. This makes orbit prediction challenging. Whether Proxima b has a roughly circular or substantially eccentric orbit is unknown. Astronomers also believe that if Proxima b formed in its current orbit, it may not have always been habitable. Before becoming a main sequence star, Proxima Centauri was hotter. Proxima b may have originated too close to its star and lingered there for millions of years. Finding exoplanets like Proxima b is extremely difficult. Scientists must be inventive to identify them because they are so hard to observe. This is also why the first exoplanet was only recently discovered in 1995, but scientists estimate trillions in our galaxy alone. They may outnumber stars greatly. 
Many are thought to be Earth-sized. The 1995 exoplanet 51 Pegasi b was a hot gas giant half the size of Jupiter. As it sped around its parent star in a four-day orbit, it tugged so fiercely that Earth telescopes could see it wobble. That was after astronomers learned what to look for. The wobble technique describes 51 Pegasi b. It tracks star radial velocity. Starlight wavelengths pinch and stretch when a star travels closer or further away. Planet's gravitational pulls generate the gyrations. Transit detection can also find exoplanets. It was popularized by the Kepler telescope and required focusing on a sky area. Kepler studied an area of sky with 150,000 stars for years. It was looking for small drops in starlight generated by planets passing in front of them. The anchoring star's mass and dip time may be utilized to compute the planet's size. Another approach to finding exoplanets is through transit spectroscopy. This method involves studying the light emitted by stars that have traveled through an exoplanet. By examining this light, scientists can uncover the makeup of the planet's atmosphere. This process is similar to identifying the components of light by refracting it through a prism. It provides insights into the molecules present within the atmosphere itself. Gravitational microlensing, which bends starlight using gravity, is another method. But since the JWST's launch, astronomers have the finest equipment for finding exoplanets. One of the JWST's key uses is finding extraterrestrial life on exoplanets. The powerful telescope was inaugurated late last year for $10 billion, a huge increase from the $1 billion budget. NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency developed it with assistance from over 300 entities, including universities. The JWST begins with the mirror. The biggest mirror flown to space is 21.3 feet or 6.5 meters wide. It is far larger than the Hubble. The JWST's mirror is constructed of beryllium coated in gold. It has 18 hexagonal pieces the size of huge tables and uses more than 100 motors to move the mirrors. JWST uses long red wavelengths, predominantly infrared, to focus on objects. Light from these sources is redshifted to longer wavelengths. JWST has four tools for sensitive infrared signal detection. Graphite composite boxes store the instruments of a spaceship bus. It houses JWST's thrusters, computers, and communications. The bus is JWST's brain and heart. The bus has a massive sunshield and a cryocooler that uses helium to keep its components at minus 393 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 236 degrees Celsius. Heat can damage the bus's components and throw off the mirror. Like the mirror, the JWST launched with a folded sunshield, since the launch rocket had no other way to hold it. In the first two weeks of the observatory's flight to its final location, the sunshield opened to tennis court length. Five layers of Kaplan E polymer layered between aluminium and silicon deflect sunlight and heat in the sunshield. The sunshield always blocks the sun's view from the JWST's mirror away from the observatory. The JWST will examine exoplanets for life using the transit technique. Webb will carry coronagraphs to directly image exoplanets near bright stars. An exoplanet would be a point, not a landscape. But using the JWST to examine that location, scientists will learn about its hue, winter-summer changes, plant rotation, weather, and more. Naturally, scientists listen for light or radio signals from technologically evolved extraterrestrial species. According to SETI, the Institute's scientists use Allen Telescope Array of 42 radio antennas to listen for signals from the region's 20,000 nearest red dwarf stars over a variety of radio frequencies. That is only half of the quest. Life including microbes is life to an alien-seeking scientist because even the smallest microorganism on a faraway planet may emit a chemical signal that our advanced telescopes can detect. If there was no life, atmospheric gases may have caused this. Oxygen may indicate life on a planet. Scientists look for additional gases or compounds like water to find life. But they must be careful since these compounds may have non-life explanations, having sources and processes not connected to living organisms at all. Now why are astronomers studying Proxima b? You must know its location to comprehend this. Proxima Centauri, four light years away, is our closest neighbor. The planets of Proxima Centauri circle it like our sun. One planet is Proxima b. This exoplanet was found in 2016 and has fascinated scientists ever since. They've also discovered Proxima C and Proxima D, although Proxima D awaits confirmation. However, 
Proxima b has garnered attention for good cause. Due to its Earth-like mass, the planet may have liquid water and life because it orbits in its star's habitable zone. Scientifically, Proxima b may have liquid water and be a rocky terrestrial planet like Earth. Another similarity between Earth and the exoplanet is that Proxima b circles a star, and while that's near our solar system, it's dimmer and less big than our Sun. The exoplanet is tidally locked and rotates synchronously with its star, so one side is constantly facing the star and one is always facing away in light and dark. Whether Proxima b has an atmosphere is unknown. If Proxima b has an atmosphere, water, carbon dioxide, and rock, the basic components for life could be present and reacting on its surface. The planet is close to its star, so close that it completes a single revolution in only 11 Earth days. The surface temperature of the planet might be minus 90 to 30 degrees Celsius or minus 130 to 86 Fahrenheit. Scientists spotted Proxima Centauri b in 2016 using HARPS, an older spectrograph. However, the world's most accurate spectrograph, Espresso, validated the discovery. Espresso's 63 spectroscopic observations of Proxima Centauri in a year dispelled any concerns. Proxima b resembles Earth in many ways. Size is first. After extensive research, scientists found that Proxima b is 17% bigger than Earth and more Earth-like than previously imagined. It was previously believed that Proxima b was 1.3 times heavier than Earth. Because Proxima b orbits its sun in 11.2 days, you would age quicker than on Earth. According to Earth observations, Proxima b is tidally locked to the sun, meaning that one side is always facing the star, generating dark and brilliant sides. As with the moon and Earth, we can only view one side of the satellite. Proxima b orbits a three-star system with two additional planets. The two additional planets do not pass in front of Proxima Centauri, making them harder to examine. They were found using the radial velocity technique, which wobbles the star due to the planet's gravity. Our Earth and Proxima b have a similar position relative to their stars. Both live in their star's Goldilocks zones. The Goldilocks zone is the region around a star where life may exist. Proxima b obtains around two-thirds of the Earth's energy while orbiting its star at a distance of one-twelfth of the Earth's from its sun. Because of the star's lower brightness and the lesser distance between the bodies, scientists assumed Proxima b has life. Its Goldilocks orbit suggests water. Liquid water is fundamental to life. High-energy radiation or X-rays and intense UV and particles may dissolve gases and liquids volatiles and escape to space, while visible and infrared light warm the globe. Proxima b receives more radiation than Earth. Therefore, it's important to determine if it's maintained its water and gases since its birth 5 billion years ago. Astronomers have employed cutting-edge technologies and observations to study Proxima b's planet history. This was done to estimate the planet's remaining gases and liquids. They found that Proxima b receives 60 times more high-energy radiation than Earth and 7 to 16 times more since its creation. This happened because Earth was bombarded more powerfully before we arrived. Due to early radiation in the first 100 to 200 million years after creation, Proxima b may have lost around one ocean's worth of water, according to scientists' estimations. What occurred afterward is under investigation. Maybe this Earth-like planet keeps losing atmospheric gases, or maybe it keeps most of its atmosphere and liquid water on the surface, making it habitable. Researchers have found where most of Proxima b's water may reside, which might be useful if you are trapped there. A sophisticated 3D model and a wide range of atmospheric compositions and water inventories revealed that liquid water may be present on the planet's surface in the sunniest regions, either in the hemisphere facing the star or in a tropical belt. What if Proxima b is already home to alien life? There's already a theory suggesting that a steady stream of strong radiation from its host star may allow its unlikely life to develop on the day side. This is because Proxima b is positioned only 4.5 million miles away from its star, or a tenth of Mercury's closest approach to the Sun. Radio astronomers have also detected radio signals from Proxima b, but they believe these were merely due to natural interference. Since the radiation-free side of the planet is constantly dark, any civilization on the exoplanet may need strong mirrors or LED lights to light its cities. This can help us find them with the correct tool. This is why a team led by Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb suggested that the JWST can be configured to detect LED light on Proxima b 
using the near-infrared instrument on the James Webb Telescope and by looking for LED light waves in the planet's light at its host star. The scientists computed light curves from Proxima b and its host star to see if artificial lights may be seen on its dark side. These scientists evaluated two scenarios, artificial illumination with the same spectrum as Earth's LEDs and a narrower spectrum that produces the same proportion of light as Earth's artificial illumination. It was discovered that the JWST can detect 5% of stellar power from LEDs. James Webb will be able to define the planet's atmosphere if it detects narrowband light like LED bulbs. This will allow researchers to utilize observatory devices to measure energy flow on the planet and calculate light curves to evaluate if they match an LED light source. Loeb and colleagues utilized the JWST Exposure Time Calculator to conclude it may detect artificial light. This tool helps astronomers predict what can be detected at any moment using specified parameters before the observatory launches. It allowed researchers to test the feasibility of sensing flux values with a wavelength that matched artificial light. It can certainly be expected from a civilization condemned to dwell in darkness. The lights on the permanent night side should be quite strong and more likely to be spotted by JWST. The JWST will demonstrate artificial illumination for conventional LEDs 500 times more powerful than those on Earth and for artificial illumination equivalent to Earth's. For various reasons, Proxima b's findings are crucial. We know there are many planets in the cosmos. There are quadrillions of planets in the Milky Way alone. According to statistics, every star has a planet around it. So the likelihood of discovering a habitable planet like Proxima b is great. Proxima b may get Earth visitors but likely emissaries. Scientists and engineers launched the $100 million Breakthrough Stars Hot initiative to develop laser technology to propel sail-equipped nanocraft to 20% the speed of light. Breakthrough will be discussed later in this video. The Breakthrough Stars Hot program wanted to send flotillers of postage stamp-sized probes to Alpha Centauri. Spacecraft flying at 20% the speed of light might reach Alpha Centauri in two decades, compared to thousands of years for traditional probes. Will aliens greet the Breakthrough spacecraft at Proxima b? We have begun getting Proxima Centauri transmissions, which opens several doors. An odd signal from Australia's 64-meter Parkes radio telescope started it all. Astronomers were using Parkes to detect radio signals from strong flares coming off Proxima Centauri. The $100 million project, Breakthrough Listen, directed by Berkeley's Andrew Simeon and sponsored by internet tycoon Yuri Milne, detected the signal. This multi-year project, launched in 2015 with a star-studded announcement by Stephen Hawking and other space scientific heavyweights, buys radio telescope time to scan the cosmos for sophisticated civilizations. As part of their stellar flare investigation, the scientists used Parks to examine the star for 26 hours. As usual with Breakthrough Listen, they marked the data for subsequent SETI signal detection. Shane Smith, a young Berkeley intern and Siemian SETI programmer, did the job. Smith, an undergraduate at Hillsdale College, found the narrowband emission needle sharp at 982.02 MHz in the Proxima Centauri observations by going through the data. After that, everything moved fast. Sophia Sheikh of Penn State University, who analyzed the signal for Breakthrough Listen, said it's the most interesting signal we've uncovered since it's never jumped through so many filters. The researchers soon renamed the signal BLC1, or Breakthrough Listen Candidate 1. Press accounts say Parks caught the signal during 530-minute periods over the course of days, all while the telescope pointed straight at Proxima. Breakthrough Listen employs a technique called nodding, where the telescope looks at a target for a time, and then elsewhere in the sky to verify that any possible signal is coming from the target. Five of the 30-minute measurements over three hours see this thing come back. This suggests the signal originated from Proxima Centauri or another far space source in that region before reaching Earth. The signal disappeared as the telescope was pointed away from the star. The signal's origin appears to be firmly restricted to a 16-foot circle, half the size of the full moon around Proxima Centauri. Breakthrough Listen isolates deep space signals from Earth and Earth, orbiting satellite signals using software filters. This communication was unlike anything the project had seen before. Team leader Andrew Siemion told Scientific American that it passed several of their tests due to certain features but failed to explain it. Most intriguingly, it occupies a limited radio spectrum range, around 982 MHz, which is normally free of human-made satellites and spacecraft communications. 
Siemian said there's no natural method to condense electromagnetic energy into a frequency bin like this. Maybe some odd plasma physics quirk may explain the tantalizingly concentrated radio waves, he thinks. The discovery was significant, according to Penn State University SETI-centric astronomer Jason Wright. If the signal isn't originating from Earth, it's extraterrestrial technology. Let's hear your thoughts about extraterrestrial life on Proxima.